Monday morning and for some that does come with a little bit of fog developing just out to our west towards uh, Aurora and York. You can see visibility is down below three miles in several locations. Also up towards Wahoo. The thing about some of this uh, kind of fog developing with some of the rain is some of the haze expected to kind of continue because we do have smoke in coming from the north from uh, some wildfires in Canada once again. So you can see some pretty good fog out in Aurora. This isn't the case everywhere though and this could be some patchy areas of fog that you may be running into for your morning commute. So kind of keep that in mind as it isn't everywhere here in Lincoln. It looks a lot better. South 27th and Yankee Hill Road still wet on a lot of the streets as some light rain continues to come down, especially in around Midtown and areas to the south towards Norris High School and Bennett. Syracuse seeing this uh, pick up here over the last half hour or so as well. You'll see the heaviest rain though at this point sitting in and around uh, Highway 136. Auburn's been seeing this. Schubert did see it and now it's moving towards the north, but kind of some circulating motion to some of this rain. As you can see the overall picture, there was some rain up here in northeast Nebraska kind of circulating as the center of this low pressure system is right around uh, Norfolk, and this is going to continue to slide east throughout the rest of the day today. So the best forcing, as you see in southeast Nebraska, will continue throughout a good portion of the morning and into the afternoon as this rain continues to slide to the south throughout the rest of the morning. Rain kind of picks up for us here in Lincoln after about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Light rain still continuing into the early afternoon with the heaviest expected towards the Missouri River south and east of Lincoln. That'll also be the area that continues to see some lingering light rain into this evening and into tonight before before that kind of comes to an end pretty quickly and a lot of us are dry by 10 o'clock and clearing out for a cooler start to Tuesday morning. Right now, though, temperatures are hovering in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees due to that cloud cover and light rain falling. It is 60 degrees exactly here in the capital city. Cooler where those areas haven't seen so much rain. In fact, a lack of cloud cover too, producing temperatures in the lower 40s towards North Platte. In fact, upper 30s right now in Chadron is one of the cooler spots with temperatures uh, ranging in the 50s to 60s today. You can expect that isn't going to move much. The needle in terms of the temperature is not going to move much with temperatures warmest on the western fringes as they see the clearing first and earlier than the rest of us. I think we kind of hover in around the upper 60s for a good portion of the afternoon with those northeast winds occasionally gusting up to 30 miles per hour. There could be some haze for us too as some of that rain comes to an end because of some of that smoke. So keep that in mind. We do clear out nicely for Tuesday upper 70s back in the picture for election day before storms will start back up and linger into Thursday morning. That's the day of our uh, bike drive. So if you're looking to drop off some bikes, may have some rain to contend with through the early morning hours before it'll be uh, much drier for the second half of the day. Just a small chance of rain on Friday. Very active period though, but the good news is the severe weather remains very minimal at this time. Alrighty, sounds good. Thank you very much, Jessica.